Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm here in the middle of uh, White Sands, New Mexico. This, this is actually sand, not snow. Hence the name White Sands. But uh, it's actually uh, the largest gypsum sand deposit in the world, uh, which is pretty amazing. It's actually like 275 square miles of these gypsum sand dunes. I came out here wanting to find composition. I used to live here um, some time ago. I used to come out here a lot uh, with my Air Force buddies and we used to play volleyball and, and you know do the typical you know stereotypical Air Force thing I guess. <laughs> I name, well, my name wasn't Goose. So what I wanted to do today um, is just uh, I wanted to find a very bleak landscape and this is just perfect for what I was wanting to find. But I was, I was thinking I'd, I'd walk around and try to find composition in a landscape like this. I mean, overall, the place is beautiful. I mean, the white, the white sands and the blue sky and the white clouds and the, and the mountains in the background over there. I don't know if you guys can, can see all the way around me. This landscape is just amazing. But, you know, just to, to take like a tourist picture or something, you know, I'd stand up here and you know, my, my wife or someone would take a picture of me and Russell standing on top of a dune and call it good, you know? Or I'd just come up here and snap a picture of the, of the white sands with the mountains in the background and call it good, you know? But as a photographer, to actually try and find composition to make a, a, a picture that really stands out and is not just an average picture that you, you'd take on holiday or something like that, um, you know, it, it takes some takes some looking around, it takes some getting used to your environment and a little bit of imagination and, uh, and a little bit of luck, actually a lot of luck. So, you know, no guarantees today. I'm just gonna take you along with me and I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna try to find, try to pull some of those pictures out of a place like this. So anyway, yeah, let's, let's go do it. And my shadow is pretty challenging here. Seems like all the pictures that I want to take are looking east. Put it back on just plain old auto. Take down the aperture again. The reason I keep going from auto to aperture is probably the only artistic thing I want to, wanted to add to one of these photos would be to have the uh, yucca here in the foreground in focus and everything in the background be out of focus. So let's give that a shot right here. Focus on the yucca and recompose. That's pretty cool. Okay, so here's another cool shot once again. Here, Russell, get on this side of me, buddy. There you go. Another cool shot of the background, the mountains in the background. If I can get my keep my shadow out of the picture. Let me zoom up just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and all right. So something like this, looking at this. Uh, yucca plant. I'm not sure if it's a yucca plant or a Joshua tree. I think it's a yucca. But anyway, looking at a, a yucca like this, I mean, there's so many different angles you can take this at. You can take this at with other yuccas in the background. You can go portrait or landscape. Um, what I like to do when I'm taking pictures of something like this is I want to actually pay more attention to the background. I mean, I know the yucca plant is here but I want to know what I'm going to capture behind the yucca plant because that adds to it. So something like this when I'm shooting into the sun, what I might want to do is actually put it in aperture priority and dial my aperture up as far as it'll go. In this case, it's F22. 
So now I can attempt to get some of that uh, sunburst out of the sun. Just add a little bit more character to that picture. It'd be cool if you could see this perspective with the sun. I don't know if I can get it though. Let's move on. I'd like to find some cool like sand features. It's kind of like a different planet, isn't it? Just miles and miles of this gypsum sand. Pretty cool. And I've started, I've noticed to take a lot of pictures in portrait mode because I've gotten in, kind of gotten a uh, Addicted to posting on Instagram. I never, it's funny, like <laughs> six months ago, I've never, hardly ever take a picture in portrait mode. And now I find myself almost exclusively doing that. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I don't know. I do like to mix it up though. Ooh, that's a cool picture. You got a little doggy with them too, Rue. Oh yes, go stand on the top of that. Stand on the top of it. You're doing good. Yes. Fun. <laughs> ah, wonderful. That's what I was waiting for. Now, a lot of times too, I'll zoom out a little bit to get a lot more around the subject. So in post, if I want to crop, I can. That's really cool. Thank you. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> nice. So this little formation looked really interesting when I passed by earlier. I thought I'd try and catch it on the way back. But my shadow is uh, just completely, completely in the way. Well, not completely in the way. I'm still able to kind of manage to work around it. But anyway, yeah. Pretty cool little formation though. I'm not sure what I can do with it though. Especially if I walk all over it here. That's pretty cool. So you can see what it's like when I come out here. You know, roughly probably 300 pictures into it. Not a clue if one of them's come out. So fun. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thanks for coming along with me on my journey. Um, it was really interesting trying to find composition in a landscape like this. It's, uh, it's really otherworldly. It truly is. 
Um, if you guys ever get a chance to get here, White Sands, New Mexico, I would highly recommend the trip. I mean, you can you can lose yourself in here. Uh, actually, probably literally. <laughs> so, anyway, but uh, yeah, if you like my channel, please subscribe to it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would help my channel out immensely. And if you even want to go so far as hitting that notification bell, you know, that'd be that'd be awesome. So, anyway, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, ciao for now.